reminder video on how to use the Knit Companion app to create a page specifically for a text piece that needs to be shown at the bottom of your screen when you're working on a chart such as this. So to show you what it looks like currently, I have my chart. This is the coffee cable socks pattern with multiple stitches that you just don't remember off the top of your head. They're new. Um, these Bavarian stitches, FYI, vary when you look these up. So I'll create another reminder video on how to create these stitches. But for right now, let's do the text piece. So what it looks like right now looks like this. This is what I've already created. And when I go to page 13, here are the symbols, to see this page because I don't want to flick from page 13 to page 1 to find definitions. I don't want to look for RC and the right twist stitch flicking to page 2 every single time I have a stitch in the chart, which where the red is, you can see you've got a bunch. So all I want to do is hit this middle page button and make the instructions pull up right here at the bottom of my page. If I get rid of the top row of sheets, I can zoom in and out to where I need to be. I can even zoom in and out right here. If I drop that down, pull all the pages, I can highlight these and I could just highlight, instead of writing, I could just highlight and just look down based on color code, which actually I might end up doing later on. But let's get down to it. So to create a text piece, to insert at the bottom of the page, I'm going to go to setup. I'm gonna hit this little plus button here. I'm gonna pick text. Now, FYI, if you need to do this in a chart, for instance, your fisherman's cable sweater, and you have to take multiple pages with multiple charts all on them and put them onto one page to make life easier. If you're going to follow these instructions, except right here, you would pick chart and you would start pulling from the pages that have the chart pieces that you need. But for right now, we're just going to do instructions. That's all you need. Go to pick text piece. I want the LC first, that's on page one. It's already highlighted in red. I'm going to hit next. It's ready for me to drag to where I need to be. I'm gonna open this purple shaded area up. And I just want to pick LC for right now. Okay. Now, I'm going to go ahead and hit this little mirror button down here. That will start page 18. It will start my new page. Now, I could stop here if I needed to. If this is all I needed to do, I would leave it alone. I would ignore this and I would just go back to knit and then I can just keep knitting and use the page as I need. But I need to add additional instructions. So because this is already popping up for me, if it wasn't, I would still hit this little button. Since it's already up, I just wanna hit add piece. And I want to go to RC, which is on page two. It's ready for me to drag and drop. I'm going to pull this in. Okay, looks pretty good. Now I'm going to hit align. And there it is. 
Now remember, the LC that you started with can't move it. That starting piece is in here. So you want to add to it, which will be what's highlighted in yellow. And I can move this anywhere I want, but only in this white bar, not in the gray. So I'm gonna leave it right underneath. And I'm going to hit save. And there it is. Again, I can stop, go back to knit and just continue. And I don't have to do anything else. Knit is where everything is locked. You don't have to do anything. You just knit your pattern. You can draw on things if you need to write notes. Edit is where you can add um, highlighters, stitch counters, etc. Um, and setup is what I'm playing with right now. So I need to add to this again for the left twist stitch. I'm going to hit the little mirror button. Come on. Add piece. It's on page one, already highlighted. I'm going to hit next. Drag you down here. Come on. want to get exactly what you need inside that little bar. Now I'm going to hit a line again. It's exactly where I want it. Again, I can move it all around, but it's right where I want it. So I'm going to hit save and it's in there. Now I'm going to do one more because I need the right leaning twist. This little button, I call it the mirror button. Tap it, add piece. That would be on page two to find what I want. Okay. Grabbing only what I need in a line. That's right where I want it. I'm gonna hit save and I'm done. I'm gonna get rid of that bottom page. That's exactly what I want. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to edit just to make sure there's nothing popping up on it. Looks clear. I'm gonna drop that again. It's automatically pulling up. This bar I don't need. So I'm going to go to edit. I'm going to come to this little hand slider button I don't need the blue bar, and you can change this to any color that you want. You can even change the transparency on it, but I don't need it. So I'm going to simply get rid of it. This I can keep. I don't mind keeping that there. And I can change the thickness, but I have it pretty thin just because of the chart. If you change it here, it's going to change it on every other page. There's no way around that. And even if you were on page 13 and you hit edit and came to the hand slider bar and started playing with this, it's going to change it on every page. At least when it comes to this highlighter button for some odd reason, at least for me. So that's fine. I'm going to go to knit. That's fine. It's already in the quick key bar. If for some reason, this wonderful app decides to no longer show page 18 at the bottom. It's attaching itself to the key bar, thus quick key, page 17. So let's say I wanted page, well, it's saying page 17. I'm on page 18. I want to hold it. There's page 18. So it wasn't automatically triggering. If I want the key to say page 16, I'm going to hold the key. And there it is. And I'm in knit. 
So when I go to page 13, zoom out, there's my chart, there's all my notes, and here's page 16. Down here, I don't want page 16, I want page 18. You see how it's still 16? Hold the key and it will change to page 18. And then I can zoom out. Go back to page 13 and it sticks. It sticks and holds down here, it won't move. So again, here's page 18 when I'm on it up top, page 13 and it's still stuck down here. Remember to use this key, press and hold when you want to add your text or if it's a chart down here, whatever the case is, remember to hold the key button to get to the page that you want to lock at the bottom of the page that you, you need it on. So hopefully this will, and if, remember if you click on that button, this middle page button, it just drops it, that's all, it doesn't erase it. Just drops it up and down. Of course, to get rid of these pages, press the first one. But hopefully this will help when you completely forget how to use this nice function of the Knit Companion app because you don't use it enough. Um, is there anything else in here that I need a reminder on? If I'm in edit, I can add comments if I need to by tapping the plus button. I can make a little pop-up that just sits and holds. Um, you'll get a little literally pop-up comment that you can press and hold and the instructions, written instructions on your comment that you create will pop up on the screen when you touch the little icon. This little icon will show up um, and speak. I'm sorry, the pop-up is for the voice. So let me, oh, sorry. Complete brain amnesia. This is why I needed a reminder video. So I can enter a text here and when I touch it in knit, it'll pop up, but I can record my own voice by tapping here, hitting the plus and then record. And then when I go back to knit, it will pop up. So if I type hello, okay. And I can add as many as I want, so I don't want to add any more. So I'm just going to do that. I'm going to hit knit. So when I tap on it, there it is. There's my little pop-up note. I'm going to hit edit. Go back to comment. This, whoops. Go back to knit. Give me all my pages. Move that, okay. Go to edit, going back to comment. I don't need this, so I'm just gonna hit trash and now it's gone. But let's say, let me go back to knit, make sure everything's where I want it to be. Let's say I want a note on page six. Go to edit, go to comment, hit plus, hit pop up. I'm going to tap it because I want it there for a video or sorry a voice recording. Hit plus and this is just going to be test. Testing, testing, testing. Okay I'll hit done. You can listen to it and then redo it if you don't like it. So then I'll go back to knit, play. Oh, my volume's down. Testing, testing, testing. See, easy enough. Go back to edit, comment, I don't need it. 
spot and go back to knit. Every time you're in knit, nothing will change. You're not in edit, you're not in setup. Um, you can write all in this. So if I'm on page one and I need to write a note, I can pick any color that I want. Spectrum, I can slide and change the colors as needed and I can just write anything I want. And I can erase everything. I can even, if I press and hold, I can change the thickness, which is nice. I can highlight, and this is a great little reminder. If you need to, that's on some kind of lavender color. If I need to get rid of something that's in the pattern that's driving me up a wall, let's say it's an error in the pattern that you find, you can erase the error by highlighting white over it, and then you write whatever you need to on top. If it's not really, let me go back to this and erase. If it's not really in the back, let's say it's in the front. Turn that off. It's in there permanently. And when I close out of it, it'll still be there. See? It's the best thing since sliced bread when it comes to correcting a pattern. And then you can just make it go right back to the original by erasing what you did. Which I believe I did on... You can even highlight anything that stands out that you need to remember. Especially um, stitch counts. For certain sizes. It's great for highlighting things that need to stand out in instructions. Actually, one of these I do need to fix. Pushing from the front, insert the tip into left needle, drop ball. I'll have to fix one of these because there is one error in this pattern. So I need to go back in and look for it. And all I'll do is highlight white and write over it. Um, it was a front versus a back. Um, it might have been this one, but I'll have to go back and look. But as quick as can be, reminder video for myself on how to create an extra page that I can have at the bottom of the screen when I'm knitting. And when you're done with this page, if you don't want to keep it anymore, you go to Setup. Make sure that particular page only is highlighted in red because if it's anything else, you are deleting it permanently out of the pattern and you'll have to go back into your Ravelry library, download it again, and you're starting from scratch. All of your notes, everything will be gone. So just be very careful when you want to delete pages. Make sure you're on the page that you want to delete. So it's highlighted red. It's the page I don't need. It's just a duplicate of page 17. I'm going to hit trash. At least it asks me first. So yes, because once you do it, you're done. And then go back. And again, you can see the key is gone. I'm going to hold it. I don't want page 13. I want it to be 17. Come on. There we go. Now I can go back to page 13 here and 17 is down here. So that's how you add a chart with a few other little reminder notes scattered in there.